welcome back. With the Godot version 4.0 Alpha fast approaching, the lead developer of the Godot engine has put a call out for high quality 3D demo content. The big feature coming to Godot 4.0 is the new Vulkan renderer, which should improve 3D performance and make Godot capable of more realistic graphics and real-time lighting. But in order to properly show off Godot's new 3D capabilities, they need high quality 3D PBR environments, ideally under an open CCO license. The GOTM Jam number 5 has started. This Jam's theme is Make It Random. Submissions close on June 7th. There's a game called Corpse Fall. In their latest devlog, they announced that they are switching away from Unity and will be using Godot from now on. Some reasons they listed for the change is that they find Godot's UI system intuitive and easy to use, and Godot handles pixel art and scaling better than Unity. If you want to read more about why they're switching away from Unity, I will link the full devlog down in the description. Godot's Gold Source MDL Importer is a plugin that allows you to import goldsource.mdl model files into Godot. This is the file format that is used in Half-Life 1, so here you can see the Half-Life 1 assets in the Godot engine. Stormhaven Dev has created a grass painting tool for their project. It uses Raycast to determine where each blade should be placed, so as long as you're not using too large of a brush size, performance should be okay. There's been some discussion in the comments on whether a grass and foliage painting feature should be built into Godot's core engine or should be kept separate as a plugin. Miskatonic Studio posted a 3D printed Godot robot head. If you're interested in printing your own, I will link the 3D print ready model in the description. DNA Reflex is a reaction based game in which you match nucleotides together. The Stroll is an atmospheric game. Being in quarantine for so long, you have too much time to think. One day, walking through the streets, you reflect about mankind, our past, future, and present, motivated by observing the ancient ruins of the city. A slice of life sim about the joy of gardening and the small pleasures that follow. Whether you're fishing, growing, trading, or just hanging with new friends, a wonderful and wistful adventure awaits when wandering the garden path. Quantum Tower is a 2D ship shooter. Gain points by staying alive and killing enemies. That's all for you this week. Like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.